I'm Bart Matthews, your public defender. The public defender's salary is paid for by the community, and he is charged with the responsibility of giving legal aid free of charge to any person who seeks and needs it. It is the public defender's sworn duty to defend the public accused of crime until they are proved guilty. Now, here's a case I'd like to tell you about. It started one afternoon when a pretty but distraught young lady came into my office. Mr. Matthews? Yes? You're the public defender. You've got to help me. Mark's in trouble, terrible trouble. He needs you, Mr. Matthews. He says he doesn't want an attorney, but please, please do something. Make him listen to you. Make him understand. You must, Mr. Matthews. Now, just, just promise a... me that you'll... Just a minute, Miss... Uh... Parker. Alice Parker. Well, now, I know that you're greatly concerned, Miss Parker, but... I can't promise anything until I know what this is all about. Of course. I'm sorry. But don't you see, Mr. Matthews, he needs advice, or his whole life will be ruined. Suppose you sit down and start from the beginning. Now, tell me, who is Mark and what's his trouble? Mark Collins. He's my boyfriend. They want to send him back to prison. They? I know I'm telling it all confused, but I'm confused. In fact, I never even knew until yesterday that, that Mark was a parolee. And when they arrested him and charged him with stealing money from the office, I was too shocked, too bewildered to say anything. Because Mark isn't a thief, Mr. Matthews. He's straight and fine. You'll know I'm right when you talk to him. Then tell me, Miss Parker, why doesn't he want an attorney? He's licked. Doesn't want to fight back thinks everyone's against him. I see. Then Collins doesn't know that you've come to see me. No. I haven't seen him. Not since he was arrested. I tried to, but... You are taking the case, aren't you, Mr. Matthews? Well, from what you've told me, I'm very interested, and I would like to help. I'll talk to Collins. You have my promise. But I'm not sure you understand, Miss Parker, though I'm available to anyone who might need me. I can't force my services. So if this boy should refuse... He mustn't refuse. Well, we'll see. Now, I may need your help, so please tell my secretary where we can reach you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Matthews. I immediately ran a check on Mark Collins' prison record. Some years before, he had gotten in with the wrong crowd, had too much to drink, and became involved in a robbery. A model prisoner, Mark had been paroled after 21 months. He had spent that time availing himself of a correspondence course in bookkeeping and accounting, determined to equip himself for a different sort of life. After learning all I could about Mark Collins, I called on him at the county jail. I'm Bart Matthews, public defender. So? I'm interested in your case. Thanks. I'd like to help you, Mark. Don't kid me. I know what time it is. I'm getting a one-way ticket to the pen. Is that the way you want it? It's not the way I want it. That's the way it's going to be. I can see that you need some advice. Someone to protect your interests. Look, Mr. Matthews. I'm telling you that a guy with a prison record hasn't got a prayer. What do you care about my interests anyway? That's my job. I took the oath of public defender to see that guys like you get a fair shake. That's your answer. And my answer is I don't want a public defender. I don't want any lawyer. I just want to be let alone. I don't believe it, Mark. I don't believe that you want to go back to prison. Not unless they've really got you dead to rights. They haven't. I'm no thief. Then stop being stubborn, Mark, and listen to reason. If you're innocent, I want to do everything in my power to get you out of this. That's a promise I made, and I'd like to keep it. Promise? Yeah. To a trusting young lady who believes in you. Alice saw you about me. She asked me to give you this note.
Dearest Mark, I would not be telling the truth if I denied that I was shocked to learn about your past. But that was a Mark Collins whom I never knew, and not the Mark Collins who is in my heart. So let's both forget the other one. I want you to know that I'll be waiting for you when you're free of this awful charge. So please listen to Mr. Matthews. Put yourself completely in his hands, for both your sake and mine. Alice. Well, Mark, what do you think, Mr. Matthews? Good. Then Mark told me a story. Released from the state penitentiary and reporting to his parole board, he carried with him a fear that the stigma of ex-con would haunt and embarrass him always. But the parole officer assured him that no one need ever know that he had been a man with a number, except the employer that they had found for him. Mark was given an address the Byright Appliance Company in the Exeter building. Conscientious and anxious to make a good impression, Mark was on hand bright and early. In fact, before anyone was around to open up. Good morning. Waiting to see someone? I'm supposed to report to Mr. Marshall for work. I'm the new bookkeeper. Oh, he must have forgotten to tell me. Won't you come in? Thank you. I'm Alice Parker, Mr. Marshall's secretary. I'm Mark Collins. Well, that'll be your desk, Mr. Collins. Why don't you try it for size? I suppose Mr. Marshall's explained about the books. No, Miss Parker, I haven't even talked to him. You see, he um, took me on through the recommendation of a friend. It all happened so quickly, uh, we should brief me. Well, Mr. Marshall's our branch manager. We have offices all over the state. We're agents for vacuums and all sorts of electrical appliances. Most of our customers are housewives who buy them on time. Morning, Alice. Any messages for me? I just got in. But there was a call for you late Saturday. A Mike Clark at this number. Thanks. Want me to call him for you? No. Uh, Mr. Marshall? Uh-uh, I'm just one of the hired help. This is Mr. Davis. Mark Collins has taken over Max's job. I'm glad to know you, Collins. I hope you last longer than Max did. The old man is pretty rough to get along with. You're doing all right. Sure, because I'm not around him much. Just as long as I keep bringing in new clients and collecting a lot of the do-re-mi form, I'm in solid. Which reminds me, I made quite a haul on Friday and Saturday. Check this, will you? Don't most of the collections come in by mail? Who are you kidding? I'm the boogeyman around here. I have to go out and scare it out of them. Uh-uh. You missed the basket. You can't play on my team, fella. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Marshall. Morning, Alice. Hi, friend. Morning. You're Collins, I suppose. Yes, sir. Well, come in. You know, young fella, I'm giving you quite a break.